Welcome to the third edition of Catholic News Herald Update. I'm David Haynes. More than 600 RCIA candidates in the Diocese of Charlotte are in the home stretch of a journey that will bring them into a closer relationship with God. This journey both ends and begins on March 31st at Easter Vigil Masses when they enter the Catholic Church. With the help of their sponsors and their parish RCIA teams, these candidates have been discerning that God is calling them to receive the sacraments of initiation, which are baptism, confirmation, and Holy Eucharist. RCIA stands for the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults. Father Martin Schratz of Immaculate Conception Church in Hendersonville describes it as a blessing for the entire parish and evidence that God is alive and working to bring new life into a parish. Now, if you know someone in your RCIA program in your parish, Say a prayer for them and welcome them to your church and, of course, to the faith. And check out an article in the March 16th edition of the Catholic News Herald. There are a couple of excellent uh, profiles of people who have been on an RCIA journey. The March 14th protest, the nationwide student protests over gun violence, took on a prayerful look at Catholic schools both in the Diocese of Charlotte and around the country. At Charlotte Catholic High School, student council members discussed ways to respond with their principal, Kurt Telford. These students then decided to announce short memorials before each class in remembrance of those 17 Florida high school students who were killed on St. Valentine's Day. Prayer then followed. Principal Telford said that praying in response to a tragedy is a part of our Catholic culture. At Christ the King High School in Huntersville, about a dozen students left classes to pray for the victims. Lent is going to culminate with the season of uh, Holy Week, the uh, Triduum, and of course Easter. It all makes for a very busy time for the Catholic News Herald, which will be providing coverage online each day and of course in the hard copy of the newspaper. It all starts on Palm Sunday. Patricia Guilfoyle is the editor of the Catholic News Herald. Tell us a little bit about the depth and the things that are, are going to be covered. We are going to be covering Holy Week every day online at catholicnewsherald.com. We will have coverage starting on Palm Sunday with story and photos from the day's liturgies. We'll continue with Chrism Mass through Tuesday uh, at St. Patrick Cathedral with Bishop Peter Jugas. We'll also have Triduum coverage, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and ending with the Easter Vigil Saturday night. So we talked about um, uh, photos and stories. Any video? Yes, we'll have video highlights of the Chrism Mass on Tuesday at the Cathedral with the Bishop. Sounds great. What else is going to be in the upcoming edition of the newspaper? We're covering the dedication of a new cemetery at St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Jefferson. All right, Patricia, thanks you very much, and have a happy Easter. Thank you. Now, we have one last thing for you today, uh, a movie review. So, for this movie review, you take a washed-up high school football player who becomes an abusive single parent, and from that you have the beginnings of a tragedy. But when you add in a conversion to evangelical Christianity, you get the faith-driven drama I can only imagine. This movie stars Dennis Quaid, who brings his considerable acting chops to the role of the bad dad whose conversion restores his life. It is based on the hit song from 2001, and it has the byline, the song you know, the story you don't. This film does contain mature themes including marital discord and the physical abuse of a child. The Catholic News Service classification for this movie is A2, Adults and Adolescents. The Motion Picture Association rating is PG, parental guidance suggested. Well, that wraps it up for this edition of Catholic News Herald Update. Drop us a line. Send us an email at catholicnews at charlottediocese.org. I'm David Haynes. Happy Easter and God bless.